We know the symptoms, chills, aches, fever, fatigue, and that all around just want to crawl back into bed feeling. Flu season can be unpredictable, beginning as early as October and then continuing as late as May. We're talking this morning about preparation. Dr. Kim Tran is a trained immunizer and researcher too, and she joins us now. Good morning, Dr. Tran. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, we're great. It's good to spend a few minutes with you here. Um, why is it important to get vaccinated against the flu each year? Now the flu can be very serious. I mean, it, it can put people in the hospital. It can even cause death. Now over 200,000 people per year are hospitalized from the flu and flu related complications. And that includes 20,000 children under the age of five. Mm. Nobody wants to see a sick child and we all feel helpless when that happens. So it's always best and important to get that flu shot every year. Are all flu vaccines the same? They are not. There are a lot of flu options out there for everyone. There are options for elderly patients, options for pregnant patients, even options for patients with allergies. For instance, one of the newest mm -hmm. ones out now are, are cell-based vaccines made specifically for patients with egg allergies. So there is no excuse not to get a flu shot. I'm thinking about washing our hands. We hear that a lot. What else can we do to prevent seasonal influenza? Well, the flu shot is the number one way to prevent mm -hmm. from getting the flu. Other than that, again, hand sanitizer, like you said, washing your hands. Um, it is school season. The kids are always around each other, always playing, touching things. Make sure they wash their hands. Make sure at the office you keep tissue on hand. If you are coughing or sneezing, make sure you cover your mouth, cover your nose. We don't want to spread those germs around. Let's spend an extra minute on kids and the flu. Um, for parents who are watching this now, what should they do um, when, they, when they first see a sign or suspect that their child may have influenza? If your child is sick and has the flu, the best thing you can do is just treat the symptoms. Treat the fever with a fever reducer, mm -hmm. give them lots of fluids, keep them home from school, give, make sure they get lots of rest. Make sure that they are at home at least 24 hours after the fever has subsided because they still can be contagious up until that point. Mm -hmm. uh, any misconceptions, any of those myths that um, you hear a lot and you, you wish you could set the record straight on when it comes to the flu shot? Well, the flu shot is from a dead virus, which does not cause the flu. And again, keep in mind that the flu shot takes two weeks to go into effect. During those two weeks, you can still get sick if you're exposed to it. If you are already coming down with the flu, you can still get sick. So give yourself that two week window. Flu season starts in October. Right now is the best time to get that flu shot, to give it some time to go into effect and protect yourself mm -hmm. against the flu. We are just about out of time, Dr. Tran, but I, I would like a website. Um, I always ask for this in case our viewers would like to follow up online. Where would you send them? Sure. Talk to your doctor, talk to your pharmacist, or go to cdc.gov. Easy enough. Dr. Tran, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.